Hello, Grand Rapids. This is City Manager Mark Washington. Thank you for joining us today. Um, as we begin uh, spring, the weather is starting to change, and hopefully you're getting out more and enjoying uh, parts of our beautiful community. Uh, this past week has been a very busy week for us. Many of you are very familiar with uh, some of the challenges we've had with water distribution due to the main break. We're fortunate now to have all repaired the break and also tested water quality and things are back to normal. We certainly regret any inconvenience that uh, this has caused over the past couple of days, but we are very thankful to city staff and all of our partners. And I appreciate the community's resilience and collaboration and those who are part of the uh, interim water distribution efforts, uh, both uh, Meyer and Spartan, Nash uh, for their collaboration in all the community neighborhood associations and nonprofits who helped us uh, get through this moment. That's that's really what makes me feel good about being in this community, how we come together in the best of times and even the most challenging of times. So thank you for your effort and to the city staff who really worked around the clock uh, to ensure that we were able to continue uh, to get back to normal. I really want to express my appreciation to, to all of them. But this past week, we had a, also a great time at our community night out. Um, in the first ward, we had hundreds of uh, community members come out and uh, witness the swearing in of our new commissioner for the third ward, Commissioner Goey. So we thank uh, you for coming out. Thank him for his service. Look forward to working with him uh, as we continue to uh, move our community forward. There was also lots of discussion around the zoning text, proposed zoning text amendments on um, housing, related to housing and parking that have been considered by the Planning Commission. And the City Commission will continue to deliberate at its next meeting um, on April 9th. So there were a lot of uh, comments from the community members about uh, concerns and also appreciation for uh, some of the proposals. And we'll continue to deliberate that on the 9th. And, uh, see what changes will occur from that process. Uh, there were other things that happened uh, during the past city commission meeting, but because of uh, the water challenges and the, the attention that was given to uh, some of the proposed zoning changes, may have not gotten the amount of attention that it deserved. One of them was the approval of a $60,000 grant uh, to allow the research to continue for the Auburn Hills neighborhood for a national registration of a historic place. Uh, that neighborhood happens to be the area uh, where the first African-American developmental, developed neighborhood uh, occurred by a group of four African-American investors who were trying to integrate uh, the community in the 1950s and 60s. And so a significant uh, uh, accomplishments, particularly as we talk today about ensuring housing opportunity and housing supply for everyone throughout our entire community. Uh, back then, uh, there was a lot of housing, con housing concentration for people of color in the southern part of our city, and so they were really trailblazers to allow uh, other areas of city to uh, experience integration in uh, new neighbors. So um, that study was approved, and we look forward to the results of the study and see if we can really continue to appreciate the historic contributions. Thank uh, those who are uh, in our community, those nonprofits and organizations who are really leading that work and partnering uh, with the city on that. So lots of things have um, been transpiring in our city. Look forward to continuing to um, celebrate uh, the change of season and getting outdoors more, and uh, we'll see you next month.